Then after the festival, we can start to look forward to visiting with family for the holiday. But you may not be looking forward to is the stressful travel that comes along with that. So I talked to a seasoned traveler to get some tips. Like many other generations, millennials love to travel, but it's the way that they're traveling that's getting the national spotlight. So who better to share their insights than the youngest American to visit every country in the world? Just in time for the holiday travel season, Lee Abamanti is joining us with tips on how technology can help during your trip. Lee, first off, I'm super jelly of your life. <laughs> it's always it's never a good thing to be jelly by the way <laughs> <laughs> so I know you're the right person to come to on what is it that we should be learning from Millennials and how they're traveling well Millennials get a bad rap but in terms of travel they do it pretty good they're actually leading the way in the sharing economy services according to a recent survey from Allianz travel insurance sharing economy meaning things like Airbnb home away Lyft uber are up significantly this year and the Millennials are leading the charge on that and the rest of us are following <laughs> well and I know like I said technology plays a huge role in that so which technology should we really be plugging into no pun intended there <laughs> yeah, travel apps have really changed the way we uh, both book travel, do travel, and then uh, share our travels, obviously, with social networking. Um, and the, the top apps that I like to use really are uh, Google Maps, because for obvious reasons, you need to know where you're going and find out. And uh, the days of holding a map and, you know, wiggling it around to figure out which way you're going are over. Um, I love an app called TripIt. This really organizes your travel. It takes all your reservations, planes, trains, rental cars, dinners, tea times, whatever you might have, and it organizes it neatly into one spot on your handheld. And finally, the Travel Smart app from Allianz Travel Insurance, I find to be fantastic because as a cautious traveler, if something happens, I want to know where I should be calling, where I should be going if I needed to go find a doctor, a hospital, or anything else. I just want to know that I'm covered because you never know what can happen. Well, now that we know which apps to use to get where we're going, now we didn't need to know where we're going. Do you have some suggestions on destinations? Well, Tucson's not a bad place. I mean, uh, I went to business school in Arizona. I love going down there. Um, but uh, that aside, uh, the top domestic destination is New York City, where I'm sitting right now, actually. And uh, the top international destination for this holiday season is actually Cancun, Mexico. Not Rocky Point, by the way. <laughs> You do know Tucson very well then. <laughs> Those are some great destinations, but you know, I know a lot of things are kind of affecting travel, whether we're talking about price or anything else. One of them kind of being terrorism, which I think a lot of people have at the top of mind. How do you feel like that that's impacting things? Right. According to data compiled by Allianz Travel Insurance based upon bookings for this holiday season, bookings to Europe are not really that affected, but bookings to places that have been affected by terrorism like Paris or Brussels or Istanbul have been affected a little bit. But Paris is still one of the top destinations for Americans this holiday season, along with London and Amsterdam. So it's been affected, but vigilant Americans are actually still traveling this holiday season and not letting terrorism affect their travel plans, which for me, I'm very very proud of that that's happening. That's right. I totally agree with you. But the other thing that is also kind of affecting travel is the Zika virus. And we know we've heard all this stuff about Zika and it's also affecting some of our Florida travel plans. Right. Um, so if you're going down to uh, South Florida this year, you're going to see a 15 percent downtick in the amount of tourists that are down there. So while that's bad, of course, it's actually good if you're still planning on heading down there because you can get some real deals on hotels, rental cars, uh, restaurants, everything else, because less demand equals lower prices. So you can actually clean up uh, a lot more than you had in years past if you're going to go to South Beach or Fort Lauderdale or Tampa or wherever you might be going down there. Well, Lee, I'm lucky because I get to pick your brain here, but beyond this, is there somewhere <laughs> where I can get some more information? Sure. If you want some more information, check out AllianzTravelInsurance.com. And if you want more information on me, check out LeeAbamonte.com or at LeeAbamonte on any of my social networks. Well, I want to let you know, Lee, anytime you come back to Tucson to visit, you're more than welcome to come on The Morning Blend. Tina, I love that. Thanks a lot. And uh, go Wildcats. Ah! Don't go anywhere the morning blend. We'll be right back.